Hi guys. Hey, um, if you're a normal modeler, whether it's radio controlled airplanes, cars, model cars, plastic model airplanes, whatever, I'm sure somewhere along the line you've used one of these doohickeys. The good old clothespin. Well, a lot of times they don't fit things right. They got the, uh, front of it's kind of weird you know i mean it's great for clothes what it's intended but for modeling eh not so much so here's how you fix that you take your clothes pin apart i wish i could say this was my idea but it, not at all because i actually seen it on dr cranky's uh youtube channel but um what you do is you can take one way to do it a piece of sandpaper screwdriver whatever where you got that uh, place there where the uh, clip went into kind of you can round that out you don't have to but you can't I mean it helps you can round it out but what you do is you just take the clip and separate your two ends and slide it back until the spring part of it lines up with that little line in there. Okay. Then you take your other half and you flip it over where there again it's got the little line in the uh inside part and you just stick it up underneath kind of pull the pull the spring up just enough that you can get the uh of course it won't work now um it's a little fidgety come on baby there it goes you get it so you can get the uh other piece of uh, clothespin slid up underneath that and then just go ahead and gently push it forward might have to spring back on it just a little bit until it seats itself come on the other one I did was real easy there it goes until it seats itself and you got that and you got a lot longer uh, tool a clamp and it works really good for like I said model cars model airplanes RC stuff whatever um, just a neat little uh, neat little hack tip whatever you want to call it um and like i said you know if you can cut out inside there a little bit it kind of makes it a little tighter feeling you know with the uh spring having um more of a little pocket to sit in you know like it originally did but like i said for what they are i mean it's a clothespin and you know yeah they're fine the way they are but for modeling this is a good way to do it. So, you know, kind of little uh, quick tip. Um, like I said, I've seen this on Dr. Cranky's um, modeling. Dr. Cranky, I look him up on YouTube. But um, he called it the oldest trick in the book. And uh, it's kind of funny because I've been building models most of my life off and on. And I never knew it until just a few days ago when I seen it. So, um, it's obviously not the oldest trick in the book if us old guys don't all know it. But, uh, anyway guys, um, stay tuned for the General Lee build, which actually will be starting tomorrow. Tomorrow's March 1st, right? Yeah. So, the General Lee, uh, under 1,000 subscriber build, uh, that'll start. And, uh... Stay tuned for more 
cool stuff to come. The weather's getting warmer. It's getting better outside. So we're going to start doing a lot more RC stuff. Uh, still working on the old uh, 55 or 56 uh, Chevy here. Um, I kind of totally went against what I was going to do with it. I was going to do it all stock, but um, yeah, well, that didn't work out so well. So it's ended up having a blown motor and yeah, but that'll be a different video. But anyway, guys, um, I'm glad you uh, check this out. If you're new to my channel, welcome and uh, stay tuned for more fun stuff to come. Like I said, now the weather's getting warmer. It'll be more RC stuff and got a lot of cool stuff uh, planned this year. So um, a lot of flying and different things like that. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks. Have a good day and uh, stay safe out there. Bye.